according to pollsters, bumbling Biden is, quote, sinking like the Titanic. <laughs> That's right. In this video, we're going to take a look at the latest poll disaster for Biden. We're going to see how more and more pollsters and pundits believe that the re-election of Donald Trump looms ahead. And stick with me to the very end of this video when I'll show you why pundits are already predicting a massive Tea Party-like red wave for 2022. You are not going to want to miss this. Greetings, everyone. Patriots all across the globe. Dr. Stevie with you. Great to be with you. As always, I am your daily fake news antidote offering patriotic analysis to help you to think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Before we begin, I am so excited to announce our new conservative Patriot Live virtual event on November 12th and 13th where I and several special guests will teach it how build a society completely free from all things woke and to experience once again the nation that we know and love. It's a virtual event, so you don't even have to leave the comfort of your own couch. And over the course of two days, you're going to learn how to become part of and help build parallel structures in our society so we can all be free once and for all from woke corporations and woke institutions. It's an awesome event like nothing else where I show you the tangible steps for how to fight for freedom and take back the customs, cultures, and traditions that we love. So make sure to click on that link below right now to get your tickets to this awesome and unique event and to make it even sweeter. If you click on that link below right now, you can take advantage of our early bird special and register at a super low price. But that special offer is going to expire on Wednesday midnight. So don't wait. Don't miss it. Click on that link below and take advantage of our early bird special. And I'll see you for a weekend that promises to be a game changer for your life like never before. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. Things just continue to get worse for Bumbling Biden. It appears now that the entire nation is chanting, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> They've had it with Biden. According to the latest Zogby poll of nearly a thousand likely voters, Biden is sinking like the Titanic. Look at these numbers. Right now, as we speak, Biden's approval rating has cratered to an utterly humiliating 36.4%. Let that hit you. 36%. You can't go a lot farther down than that, can you? His negatives have hit 61%. Let's go, Brandon! The analysis that Zogby gives puts it this way, quote, President Biden's skid continues and he has fallen down a job performance well. That's some pretty cool imagery there. He's fallen down a job performance well. There are crises spinning out of control every day as the U.S. economy teeters on recession and the Wall Street bubble continues to inflate. Voters are being hit harder than heavyweights Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury with higher gas and food prices simultaneously. Don't forget about the U.S.-Mexico border crisis, potential U.S. debt default, and a once-in-a-generation pandemic. It goes on, quote, Voters can't help but wonder why the Biden administration keeps sweeping these issues under the rug and declaring them, quote, transitory. Democratic leaders cannot even come to a consensus within their own ranks without the passage of the Build Back Better Act or a solid infrastructure bill and the potential default of the U.S. debt on the horizon. Is it any surprise Biden's presidency is sinking like the Titanic? Biden's failure to reach vaccination goals and his executive vaccine mandates have also not helped his cause. That latter observation is key. Remember, we predicted this, right? We predicted that Biden's vaccine mandates we're going to rupture the Democrat coalition. And it clearly has. I did a video a couple of weeks back on the leaders of the New York City chapter BLM, Black Lives Matter, coming out and declaring Biden's vax mandates as racist, right? That's right. Vax, vax mandates are racist because restaurants and other companies are using them as an excuse to enforce their racist attitudes on their employees and their customers. Like, for example, what happened in New York where a restaurant supposedly selectively denied entry or seating for specifically black customers using the mandates as an excuse. The latest Morning Consult poll has found that Biden's approval rating has dropped nearly 20 points among blacks since he announced his draconian and unconstitutional vax mandate. According to the poll, Biden's approval has dropped a stunning 17 points among black voters just over the last few weeks. And the Morning Consult poll noted that given the historic low turnout among blacks, 
in the midterm elections, this drop in support could mean nothing less than a cataclysmic disaster in 2022 for the Democrats, which we're going to get to in due time. But you're going to love this. Here's how the Zogby analysis concludes. Quote, it's not all over for President Biden, but something must give soon. He needs to get his agenda going, get the debt ceiling raised, and get COVID under control. Each one of these is nearly impossible by itself. Biden ran on the idea he could fix things and heal the country. With each precious day slipping by, it seems unlikely he will get his agenda passed or heal the country. And here it is, gang. Another Trump presidency might not be so far-fetched an idea as it was a year earlier. Another Trump presidency looms right around the corner. Now, does that sound familiar? If you're a regular to this channel, you know it does. As if you haven't already done so, make sure to check out my video yesterday on CNN absolutely panicking. They're having a complete and total meltdown because their own contributors are admitting that it is the most likely scenario that Trump is going to win re-election in 2024. I'll make sure to put a link in the video of the video in the pinned comment section down below for you to watch after this one. Gang, I got to admit, I can't believe how many pollsters and pundits in the mainstream media are actually openly starting to talk about Trump winning in 2024. I mean, they're besides themselves. They literally cannot believe this. And to make matters even worse, before we get to 2024, we got the 2022 midterms. And look at this. The new Patriot GOP is absolutely crushing the Democrats in midterms fundraising. The Republican Fundraising Committee said yesterday that they had raised more than $105 million, which marks a 74% increase over the last midterm cycle. They now have $65 million cash on hand, which is nearly triple what they had on hand this time four years ago. Again, to make matters even worse for Bumble and Biden and the Democrats, according to the latest uh, the latest left-leaning Quinnipiac survey, the Republicans now lead the so-called generic ballot 47 to 44%. This is the first time the Republicans have led the Democrats since 2014, two midterms ago. The last time Republicans polled this high, they went on to utterly slaughter the Democrats. They took control of the Senate. They expanded their majority in the House. This is back in 2014. They won thousands of local and state legislative seats. It was an absolute bloodbath for the Democrats. And guess what? We're seeing virtually identical polling for the upcoming midterms. And we're already seeing the fruits of it. It's already starting. I did a video a couple of days back on the special election in Iowa, where the pro-Trump Republican John Dunwell defeated his Democrat challenger, effectively flipping a blue seat red for the first time in over 40 years. And he won with 60% of the vote. And I pointed out in that video that that's just par for the course for what we've been seeing this year in special elections, where blue district after blue district has been flipping red, particularly blue districts at the southern border, where voters, but mostly Latino voters, have absolutely had it with Bumlin Biden's illegal immigration disaster. So it looks like we're seeing the makings of the Tea Party-like red wave that we saw in 2010, 2014, when the Democrats were completely swept from power. And as Biden's poll numbers continue to sink lower and lower, that red tidal wave appears sure to come. Now, before you go, you will definitely want to check out my video on CNN's absolute and total meltdown, as even they've begun to admit that Trump will indeed win in 2024. You're not going to want to miss it. So make sure to click on the link and I will see you over there. God bless. Let's go, Brandon.